Hello, thanks for listening. My name is Chang Li, a staff PhD student in Texas a and University. Today, I'm gonna to talk about Bayesian group sparsity and smoothing regularization method on large graph called T Loho model. This is a joint work with Zhao Tang Luo and Dr. Huyan Sang. Let's first talk about the high dimensional models. We call a model high dimensional when the number of parameters P exceeds the sample size N. The most common assumption of such model is the sparsity assumption, where p-dimensional parameter beta has many zero components, so that effective dimension of beta is much smaller than p. It is useful since it avoids overfitting and improves predictive accuracy and interpretation. However, when beta has a certain type of pre known structure, such as time or image, we can further assume a different type of low-dimensional structure so that beta has clustered patterns and many possibly cluster zero, which we shall call sparse homogeneity assumption. While the sparsity assumption is often described as a finding a needle in a haystack, we can describe sparse homogeneity assumption as finding bunches of needles in a haystack. Fish lasso is a popular example of model under the sparse homogeneity assumption. When beta is associated with time, it is plausible to assume that adjacent parameters have the same value, so fuse lasso imposes L1 penalty on the successive differences as well as individual parameters. The concept of time neighboring can be further generalized so that structure of beta can be represented as a graph and we can impose a penalty on the edges of the graph. The graph is flexible enough to represent almost any kind of data structure, including cylindrical space as shown here. Now we introduce a new Bayesian model which addresses the sparse homogeneity assumption on the graph. It delivers full Bayesian inference, including the inference on the number of clusters. To do so, first we let pi be graph partition of G. For example, the figure on the left shows a graph G and graph partition with three clusters. Now we introduce a three base prior on partition pi. This is based on the following proposition where any graph partition can be represented through cuts of spanning forth of G. The figure below shows two examples. First, we choose a spanning forest with three edges, and by choosing a cutting edge, the connected components become a graph partition. Using this representation, we specify a prior on pi through random spanning forest and a prior on the number of clusters k. Specifically, we have a prior on spanning forest space by choosing f be the minimum spanning forest of g with random edge weights wij. Here, k is assumed to have a geometric prior with parameter c. Finally, the partition pi is determined by selecting k minus nc cut edges uniformly at random, where nc is the num number of connected components in the graph. The parameter c controls the model size. When c is closer to 1, then it penalizes the model with large number of clusters. Now we've completed the prior specification on graph partition to get homogeneity, and we've left with sparsity. Given pi, we can construct k by p matrix phi. Phi has mutually orthonormal rows, as you can see in an example here, and multiplication with pi, phi represents the projection to its row space. So we propose to use following prior to induce sparsity. Similar to the horseshoe, it has same, same half Cauchy prior on the scale parameters, but the covariance term now is not diagonal anymore, but has a low rank structure. The below shows an example of covariance term phi principles lambda phi when we have three clusters, one, two, four, and three, five. So by the construction, the probability density on beta lies on a row space of phi with dimension k. The row space restricts beta to have the same value when beta i and beta j lie in the same cluster. In summary, we propose a Bayesian hierarchical model with three base prior pi 
on the for the partition pi and a low rank Horsey prior conditional on the pi. So combining those, we call our model T loho, uh, tree based low rank Horsey model. T loho can be naturally incorporated into a linear model with an undirected graph G, which is known. We can write the model as follows. Now, for the posterior inference, we can transform the design matrix X and a parameter beta by defining X tilde be X phi transpose, which is N by K matrix, and beta tilde by phi beta, which is K by one vector. Then X beta now remains same, and the posterior can be written as follows. We design a reversible jump MCMC algorithm to sample from the posterior. The algorithm is comprised of three steps. Step one explores graph partition of G by updating partition related parameters phi, k, and f. It performs one of the four possible moves, split move by choosing within cluster H and split it, merge move by choosing a between cluster H and merge it, change move by performing split and merge consecutively, and hyper move by proposing different underlying spanning towards F. Each move is accepted with a acceptance ratio, which is dependent on the conditional distribution of pi, k, and f. In step two, we update global shrinkage parameter tau, error variance sigma square, and beta using a block gap sampler to improve mixing. Finally, in step three, we update local shrinkage parameters lambda using a slice sampler. Here, the computational bottleneck is the likelihood calculation, which requires inverting m by m matrix sigma. Compared to the direct calculation, which takes O and S cubed, we can reduce the computational cost by applying wood bear formula as follows. Using the Cholesky decomposition of k by k matrix sigma star with rank one update and our newly proposed Cholesky diagonal update, we reduce computational complexity, which is linear of n. So this is a description of Cholesky diagonal update, which is useful when repeatedly updating the Cholesky factor where only diagonal element changes. In our example, Cholesky term involves grain matrix X transpose X, and we can see that diagonal update improves the computation speed significantly. So we now discuss how the horseshoe shrinkage prior of T loho model affects on the cluster. As you've seen in the pre pre previous example of fused lasso, the difference of parameters has an important role in clustering. Previous Bayesian approaches tried to put a prior directly on the differences, but it has many limitations when the graph G has many edges. T loho does not directly put prior the difference, rather it puts multivariate prior of beta with low rank covariance structure. Here, we investigate the properties of induced prior on beta i minus beta j under the T loho model and show that shrinkage prior of T loho not only induces shrinkage but also facilitates homogeneity compared to the usual Gaussian prior. So when beta 1 and beta 2 follow independent Horsch prior, we can calculate the marginal density of standardized difference, delta, as shown here. It does not have a spike at the origin like a horseshoe, but it has a heavier tail than horseshoe. We denote this density pi delta. For simplicity, we'll assume design matrix X is identity. Recall that we accept partition based on the acceptance probability which includes penalty term one minus C and the likelihood ratio L. The likelihood ratio is expressed as follows by integrating out the cluster means beta. Here, the likelihood ratio L exactly corresponds to the base factor of the Bayesian two sample t-test. 
So following the procedure of Bayesian two-sample t-test, we put a prior on the standardized difference delta, which is our parameter of interest, and put non-informative prior on the nuisance parameters. Now the base factor is a function of two-sample t-statistic. We compare base factor equivalently the likelihood ratio L when delta has normal prior and delta has high delta prior, which is induced by horseshoe. We considered balanced group scenarios and unbalanced group scenarios with increasing degrees of freedom. The comparison of base factor reveals how row rank horseshoe prior differs from the usual normal prior in terms of clustering. When the effect size, which is the absolute value of t-statistic is small, low prior more strongly favors the single group over the separate groups in all scenarios. However, in contrast, when the effect size is big, low hole prior more strongly favors separating the clusters compared to normal prior. This shows that low hole prior can smooth out the cluster estimate when signal difference is minimal, while well identify the cluster when its signal difference is significant. We also study a theoretical analysis of T low hole by providing posterior consistency results, but we skipped this part due to the time constraint. Well, so we, to investigate the T low hole model in, in terms of performance, we conducted a simulation study motivated by the scholar on image regression example of Kang and others. In this case, Graph G is now a 3 by 3 lattice, which represents a 2D image. The unknown image coefficients beta lies on a graph which is sparse and has irregular cluster shape with sharp discontinuities. Competing methods are soft-thresholded Gaussian process and fused lasso model, and so that we compared mean square prediction error and RAND index to measure predictive and clustering accuracy. The result is shown as follows, and we can see that T-Loho gives the best result, both in terms of MSPE and RAND index, under the different setting of dependency in design matrix and signal to noise ratio. Finally, we apply T-Loho model to the task of anomaly detection in road networks. This example is previously investigated by Wang and others using fused lasso model. We consider a New York City Pride March event held on 2011, which causes traffic congestions along the road. The goal is to detect clusters on road network, which have different taxi pickup drop-off patterns from usual. We constructed Manhattan road graph with 3,000 number of vertices and 8,000 edges. The leftmost figure shows the parade route and second figure shows the raw data of difference of taxi pickup drop-off counts compared to the usual. So it is plausible to assume that most of the traffic in Manhattan will not be affected by the event. So the difference will be zero, the, so that many difference will be zero, which satisfies the sparse homogeneous sparse assumption. So to find this clustered pattern of change of pickup drop-off counts, T loho model and fish loss model both well captures the anomalies on the event route. However, as we can see in the bottom right figure here, T loho model gives a less biased estimate compared to the fish lasso and also provides uncertainty measures. Another notable difference is T loho can capture a decreased tax activity around the West Lower Manhattan area because of the Pride root block, while fused lasso cannot due to the increased bias. In summary, T loho gives better insight on how tax activity changes when such event occurs. So we have proposed T loho model, a flexible Bayesian group sparsity and smoothing regularization method on large graphs. It can be adapted to various hierarchical model setting and provides flexible sparsity and group learning with a full Bayesian inference. Interesting future work would be investigating when G is now a weighted graph and including model variations within active groups. So this is all and thanks for listening.